In this video, we're going to talk about an extremely basic function called len, and then I'm going to show you an example of where you might actually use that particular function. So, all the len function does is it tells you how many characters are in a particular text string. So I'm just going to quickly put this in. Again, like I said, it's very straightforward. I'm going to type len for the len function. And then the only piece that it wants to know is a text string. So that's, let's just say, a2. I'm going to close the bracket. So literally, this is going to give me a number value. So right now, if I look at this, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 characters in that text string. So as soon as I hit enter, there I get the answer of 12. If I fill that down, of course, it counts the different characters in these different text strings. Now, where a function like this can become useful is in conjunction with other functions. So, for example, I would like a function that extracts the city. Now, in previous videos, we talked about the right function, we talked about the left function, we also talked about the mid function. Here's the problem with this. The cities are all different numbers of characters, so it's not consistent. So I need some way of figuring out a way to actually change the number of characters I want for each of these values. And I don't want to do it manually because let's imagine this list has 500 records in it. So we could use the len function. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to use start with a right function because I do want characters from the right hand side here. And the text that I want is this. If you want more information about the right function, please look up that video. Okay, so when it comes to the number of characters, I'm going to utilize a len function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the length of that entire string, and that's going to evaluate to 12. And that's no good, right? Because that's just going to give me the whole thing. So what I need to do is find something consistent about this. And what I want to cut off are the first five characters, right? Because that's the first three of the country, the next two are the province. So I'm going to take the length of the entire string minus five, and that's going to do a perfect job for me. That will change for each city. So if I hit enter, there you go, grabs Toronto. If I fill that down, it's going to grab all the other ones perfectly. So this len function determines the length of a string, and it's very useful when used in conjunction with other functions.